Hello, I will look in the camera this time. I know I didn't wait till June 1st to um, make a video, but I just read four books by X Hutterite people, and while they're fresh in my mind, I wanted to make a video about it. The first two I talk about, I borrowed on Kindle Unlimited, but now they're no longer available on Kindle Unlimited. Kindle Unlimited, it's like, I think it's $10 a month, and whatever is available through Kindle Unlimited, you could borrow and read without having to buy it. So you could read more than $10 worth of books a month for free. It, 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 it it's helpful with like, um, picture books. Like, um, I was getting pictures of cakes and flowers for a while to, um, unwind from my unwindful life. Yeah, I'm getting stupid. So anyways, the first two books I borrowed on Kindle Unlimited, and, um, they're no longer available through Unlimited, and they're charging $8.99 for them, and I'm glad I got to borrow them because the writing is okay, but it's not quite as, it's not in, as engaging at all as the last book I'll talk about in this video. Um, the books are published by people who call themselves the Nine. It's a group of nine people who left various Hutterite colonies, and they call themselves the Nine. And the first book was Hutterites, Our Story to Freedom. And the second book is called Since We Told the Truth by the Nine, Our Life Can Never Be the Same. It's put out by Risen Sun Publishing. The first book um, goes on about why they left. They um, are born again Christians now. And they felt as if, according to their their sentiment, they feel that the Hutterites aren't um, following the gospel and they're not real Christians. There's also mention of alcoholism in the communities and how people are, according to the nine people, are plied with alcohol to, um, I guess, get them to stay. I don't know. But... Um, the first book, someone said in a review that their stories all sound similar. I guess the, the similar subtext of all their stories is this whole alcoholism thing. The second book, called Since We Told the Truth, is mainly about how they published the first book. And then it talks about their current born-again Christian um, faith, living outside a community in, I guess, mainstream Christianity. And um, the books are okay, but they're not fantabulous. Then the third book I read is Hutterite. To Independence by Esther Stahl Taylor. It's put out by Christian Faith Publishing Incorporated. Um, this book had horrible formatting. They didn't make translate the images to Kindle very well. So when you get a book with images like that on Kindle, it's an itty bitty tiny um, photo and you have to do this with your hands to blow it up on each photo instead of laying it out. And also the chapters, um, the time on a Kindle when it's properly formatted, you get a time of time left in the chapter. This had none of that. It had time left in the book, and I truly hate that. I especially hate it on those freebie books of um, the public domain books are always. Uh, heinous street. So anyway, this book, How to Write the Independence, I paid for this one. I think it cost $5.99 or something. 
and it goes into her um, childhood among the Hutterites and um, things like that. And she left again because she felt she wasn't living a true Christian life out. That's why she left. Do I recommend this book? I don't know. Um, I recommend most of all, okay, I'm being, I can't remember much of her book. This, that's so horrible. That's why it's horrible to do reviews of autobiographies. So the third, the fourth and final book, and the best one of them all, is called Alone on the, is called Night Watch, an Inquiry into Solitude by Robert Rhodes. And it's subtitled Alone on the Prairie with the Hutterites. This is written by a guy who was a former newspaper editor. And he joined the Hutterites and lived with them for about six years. And he, um, it's, it gives you the history of the Hutterites to a person who knows nothing about it. A person who knows nothing of the Hutterites will find this educational and engaging and fun. Um, the, um, petty plus side for my sentiment is that the the book starts out in the winter and ends in the winter. I love that cold weather. Um, it also, you may not be familiar with the Bruderhof. They're here on YouTube. They have at least three or four channels, the Bruderhof. The Bruderhof, I think, assembled in 1920 in Germany. And um, they live communally like the Hutterites. And... Um, the Bruderhof were, I think, essentially had to leave Germany because the Nazis took over and they were lucky they were allowed to leave with their hide and hair intact. But they went to various countries before um, they finally, uh, their Hutter, Bruderhof's groups are all over the world. The, in Night Watch, and it's further along in the book towards the end, they talk about how some of the Hutterites left to become Bruderhof. And how um, the Hutterites are more politically engaged, meaning they go to protests and they speak about politics. And that can be a good or bad thing. They, as far as I know, they're left-leaning as far as war Wait, that's a controversial thing to say. They're pacifists. They're probably pro-life in all senses, meaning they're not only against abortion, they're against the death penalty. Um, yeah. So I'm subscribed to a couple of Hutterite channels here on YouTube. But yeah, there's a rift. The Hutterites were fighting with the Bruderhof. Are they like being snippy about the whole thing? But really, um, Robert Rhodes writes for many publications now. I don't know what his... He is still Christian, I think, but I don't know if he belongs to a church. He said at the end of the book he wrote for a Mennonite Weekly. Um, I'm not selling this book good. What you need to do is go to Kindle... Or Amazon or however. And if they offer the option to download a sample. Read the sample and it will pull you in. He's that he's that good of a writer. It is well written. The guy knows what he's doing. Um, it was worth the 10 bucks I paid for this book. And I'll probably read it again. Not to give. Okay spoiler alert. I'll tell you why he left the Hutterites. His wife had to sacrifice a lot to join the Hutterites. She was a college-educated educa woman, and all that entails. And when they joined the Hutterites, she was basically committing herself to the to the domestic arts. Um, they left because they did not want their two daughters to have to um, sacrifice opportunities. Because the family was living with the Hutterites. When the guy left, they told him, You're not excommunicated. 
we may call you back at any time. And um, there were no hard feelings when he left. Um, yes. It takes place during, part of the book takes place during September 11th, 2001. And it talks about how all the Hutterites, usually they weren't allowed to watch TV. And when um, it all happened... They gathered around the TV in the lunchroom watching CBS, and they were so unsettled by it that basically everything else in that community ceased for a week. So check out the book. It's worth the journey. I hope I haven't given away too much. It's worth the journey. Okay. So that's my video, and um, I won't upload on Rob's Rob won't upload for me on his channel until I read another batch of books. Okay, have a nice day.